welcome. <clears throat> Pardon me, clear my throat. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. It is indeed a happy Saturday, and you guys are going to click that notification bell for notifications. And thank you for tuning into in yet another episode of the Secret Variant. I am the Ultra Maximus, and that's why uh, I thank you again for watching. If you're watching this one on the rewind, make sure you uh, leave me a comment below. Like and share the video. Click that notification bell for notifications for when we go live. Because, of course, I drop videos like Guerrilla Warfare Bombs. Kind of like this one. Uh, YouTube, of course, we appreciate all you subscribers out there, which is the reason why we are building the giveaway of giveaways. That is currently a short box in size, plus three slabs. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. And the only way to be a entrant into the Ultra Box giveaway is to be a subscriber of the channel. And uh, don't forget to tune in to the next episode of the Wednesday Night Comic Book Presser, the next episode of the Raw Report, which is my pickups and mail drops videos, so you can kind of get into my, my spec head a little bit there. And then, of course, the, the show that you're watching right now is, of course, The Secret Variant, and I appreciate you guys not missing any of those. But don't forget, uh, I've got some pretty long, cool videos out there, like the second printing homage variants and the Marvel Hip Hop variant platinum list. So uh, be sure to like and share those, and uh, watch them if you are into lots of... Uh, First appearances and crazy hip hop homages and all sorts of other uh, old comic book homages. Matches Malone, Tomb, Awesome Sauce, Radio, Blind Adam, uh, uh, you know, Howard Stern Royalty in the house. Empire Comics, good to see you guys. Appreciate all you guys tuning in live. And then uh, for everybody else, uh, don't forget to ch check out our feature channel section and uh, subscribe to all those wonderful people. Don't forget to also tune in to Mighty Mel V and the Drunken Chat Squad. Even though last night my kid fell asleep in the office. And I, I moved the kid to his bed, and, and Daddy fell asleep. Daddy had a long day. So I'm sorry for missing you guys last night. I really, uh, well, actually, my kid talked me into not working. So that's how that one happened. Because if I was out working, he would have been asleep and not in the office. And, <laughs> you know, it's, it's piled out of control. But I heard the guys had a good time last night. And uh, don't forget to subscribe over there. Because Mel's going to be dropping a new art contest that includes uh, you guys trying to do something here with all these... Uh, black and white variant covers that are coming up uh, on release from Spawn, all the different Spawn related titles. So make sure you're copping your uh, your artistic ones. Uh, no, those aren't FOC. This is FOC, but those are not FOC. So uh, actually, yeah, well, actually that's not true. There is one of them on FOC. Um, I know it was a short show last night, uh, Blind Adam, and I missed you guys too though. Uh, but tell you what, uh, Omega Red, stick around. I got something for you. Especially if you're going to be into that art contest on Drunken Chat. Follows are always appreciated, whether it be on Facebook, IG, or Twitter. The links to all three of those are in the Ultra Maximus uh, channel homepage. And uh, what's up to you, Omar V? Good to see you as well. And of course, uh, Facebook and IG handle is the U1 Tramaximus because I take no L's. And then don't forget to download Whatnot, follow Mighty Mel V, Ninth Wonder, and all the rest of the guys. You can follow me over there too, but I'm nobody. But I appreciate the follows. And you guys uh, who do follow me will be rewarded when I do get my shit together and actually can get a sale together. Uh, follow us on Twitter again as Maximus X, and I appreciate you doing that. Make sure you do pay attention to the wonderful people at White Bat Audio. That's Carl Casey at White Bat Audio right here on YouTube. But uh, they are also at WhiteBatAudio.com. And uh, yeah, so Spotify and too as well. Man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Eric S. Hurd. I don't know where you, you are tonight, sir, but uh, the Ultra Maximus logo will forever go down in infamy. It's probably one of the coolest logos uh, on comic book uh, YouTube. Because, I mean, look at that. You guys recognize the logo. You know the name. You know the personality. And, uh, yeah, you know, there's the, there's the Ultra Cat trying to get her fair share. Uh, rocking the spine tick shirt. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another adventure. Uh, that is, of course, the secret variant. Uh, welcome to my my empire of dirt. Um, I did not submit my uh, my shelf pictures uh, for the guys uh, who are doing the, uh, the designated decoys tonight. So shout out to the spine ticks who are taking the weekend off. Uh, but the designated decoys will be picking up over at Comics Talk Weekly's channel. So if you guys uh, didn't know about them, check them out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy tonight. And uh, like I said, good to see everybody out there. And let's get this show rocking and rolling. <laughs> there you go, 440, man. That's a good number. But uh, we got a, everybody in the live chat. Uh, Brandon Looney Tunes fan 2000. Where are you?
Yep, if it's not the Ultra Pets, it's the Ultra Clone. Either, it doesn't matter. <laughs> one way or another, one of the mounds I am responsible for, right? All right, guys, don't forget about our friends over there at ComicBarricade.com, giving you the stuff to keep your comic books upright. And, of course, I'll give you the code ULTRA to get yourself 10% off that order. And then, of course, uh, WannaComics.com. So much of my collection is comprised of books that I've gotten off of Drew. Um, I, I, you guys know I'm not a really big store-exclusive guy. Uh, but Drew's books, you know, they constantly are, are a notch above the rest. He's got a Hulk number six that's dropping soon for you guys who are, uh, you know, into the Titan spec. And uh, don't forget to bookmark him, follow him on IG, also follow him on Whatnot. Drew is really good peoples and uh, kind of like the comic seller that the, the, the you know, comic community is. Super Chat still isn't active yet, but don't worry. PayPal.me slash Ultramaximus if you really want to. And do it as friends and family so it doesn't expect me to print a label. But I appreciate you guys. I really do. Secret Variant uh, is, of course, a show that started off with me just trying to uncover the variants that weren't shown on previews. But, you know, it has evolved into a full FOC overview. You send me the way of your LCSs and uh, your your ordering facilitators and stuff like that. And for that, I graciously appreciate it. For everybody who's using the pull box or, or uh, maybe even the drunken pull box, uh, we do appreciate you guys getting your orders in and helping keep them, you know people like Lucas and other brick and mortar stores and other digital stores afloat. So uh, thank you for supporting the hobby. And this is the best way to support your own hobby in your own pocket by not overpaying for books like I do. Because I feel entitled. I feel I don't have to FOC stuff and my store should just hook me up all the time. Does it work out? It's like 50-50. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll ask for two copies of a book that FOC on a Monday, on a Tuesday, and I'll only get one of them, but cover, then they'll charge 10 bucks for the other. Or, you know, uh, you know, it's stuff like that happens. It happens. But uh, nonetheless, I appreciate all you guys again tuning into this content. And uh, don't forget, we are going to be dealing with some extremely spoilerific items just because we're going to be looking at stuff that's going to be releasing in three weeks, maybe more. So buckle up. Smash that like button, and let's uh, take this deep dive into the FOC overview that is the Secret Variant. Starting off is going to be Aftershock Comics, and that's going to be giving you the Bylines in Blood, number four, the Lion and the Eagle, number three, and then the Naughty List cover A with Frank Avia, and that appears to be a bloody poker. And there's Naughty List uh, cover B, 15 copy and something. Good to see you, Jamie. Final orders due for Ahoy 410 2022. So this is a lunar distribution item that is on FOC for next Sunday. Guilt number two of five. Okay. Moving on. Antarctic Press. Drop in alias black and white number five of seven. Black Hops. Hoppa Cop Apocalypse Apocalypse Okay Apocalypse Now God what a tongue twisting stupid thing And I even already copied and pasted it and probably said it earlier Exciting Comics Number 20 It's actually kind of a cool looking cover And then Gold Digger number 288 Planet Comics Number 5 Got more of that retro Uh you know, old school sci-fi theme going on, right? Let me put down the 15-pound uh, coffee cup here. <clears throat> All right, so uh, next up we've got the Specter Man Heroes, number one of five. That's your cover, but they didn't show the cover art, and they didn't show the cover B either. Archie! Oh, what the hell? Oh, I put it out of order. My bad, my bad, my bad. So here's the Betty and Veronica Jumbo comics. Uh, while you drive, I'll be your designated texter. Look at that with a positive message. And it uh, doesn't matter. They're both going to wreck anyway. You see that. It's a Mustang. AWA, Artist Rise and Artisans. Better stay away from the crowds of cars and coffee, if you know what I mean. And for everybody who gets that reference, uh, kudos to you. AWA with the fourth man, number four of four. And then Hotel, number five of volume two. Behemoth. 
Hotline Miami Wildlife Trade Paperback Volume 2. So, this was in the regular comic section. Hey, Double O, I appreciate you checking in, man. No worries. So, Hotline Miami was already a um, Titan Comics release that already had like seven issues. So, I don't know why the Volume 2 Trade Paperback would be being released by Behemoth. But... That's where it popped up at. So, just take it for whatever it is. This is, uh, yeah. But Stargirl, number two of, uh, uh, I don't know if it's an ongoing series or not, but it says episode two. But there's your cover A. Here is your cover B. There's your cover C. And your cover D. Final Lunar distribution orders for CEX, a.k.a. the Comics Experience, is going to give you egged. And this is going to be, again, for 410. So this is next Sunday. This is your egged one-shot cover A. And then here is your cover B. I wonder if that's just in time for Easter. Easter's in two weeks, three weeks. Mother's Day is coming soon. Vox number one one-shot cover A. And then the B cover. It's quite interesting looking uh, with the like gold foilish. Floating World Comics. This one I showed you last week. This is the Lance Stanton Wayward Warrior. Keen Spot. Giving you the Bat of, bat of Gafgar. Shop of Pressure. <laughs> Cover A. Oh, this is a cruel April Fool's joke. Yeah, it is. There's your cover B. And then here's your cover C. And then uh, there's your cover D. Come on, man! And then, uh, yeah, there's your cover E. Mad Cave. Giving you the last session, number five. Cover A. Dozer Draws. Cover B, also by Dozer Draws, but this is your RPG uh, character sheet. I actually think these have been kind of cool. Like, if you're if you're into this book, the variant covers haven't been disappointing. Just put it that way. And then we got Oni Press. Just kidding. Scout Comics. I thought there was an Oni book, but there were, I, I, I might have deleted it anyway. No, actually, I went back and looked. There wasn't. And if there was an Oni book, you were, would have already FOC'd it last week. So it's fine. Lunar Distribution for Scout Comics, however, giving you the 410 distribution date or uh, final cutoff date next week. Broken Eye number two. Code 45 number one. They did not show an incentive. And then the Lunar Distribution orders due tomorrow. Distorted, number three. This also showed up in previews. So you can actually say if your shop orders through previews distribution, your orders are due 4-4 four, four for that one. Lunar Distribution orders for, for Scoot here, though. Oh, Andre knows I would. Um... 41022, and this is your Misfits Clubhouse number one. 499 cover price from Scoot, though, so you know it's gonna be a big book. Because they've done a, they've done a dollar ninety-nine books before. Uh, but with it being 499, I would you know you expect high quality. Source point press dropping Blood on Sunset number five of the five issue series. Here is your Buzzard and Bone number one of four, and that's cover A. And then there's your cover B by Gutierrez. In his own image, number three of three. Rise of Dracula, number five of six. Rise of Dracula, number five of six. The cover B was a secret variant this week. Touching Evil, number 21. And that's going to finish it up for the source point. Moving on to the Titan, not to 
be confused with the Titan that you see here. Follow me on uh, Twitter for more jokes. Shout out to Gary Nusser said, um, Ultra needs no hype man when he has himself. He's right, you know. Cowboy Bebop number three, cover A. Cover B with the photo variant. Cover C. Cover D. And then uh, the FOC Braga. All right, FOC variant looks to be kicking ass. Dave Collect, good to see you. There's uh, there's one of the designated decoys from later this evening over there at Comics Talk Weekly's channel. Make sure you go check them out. Harbinger 2021 series, number seven with a cover A. There's your cover B. Oh, but wait, Ultra found the pre-order bundled edition. So this is the one that you have to pre-order, and I think you have to bundle like um, four issues at a time or something. So you would have had to pre-order bundled, I think, five, six, seven, and eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Should they get that far? Vault dropping final orders for four ten through Lunar Distribution. Blue Flame number nine. And then uh, they showed a cover A, but they didn't show a cover B. So consider that a uh, fair warning that something's going to be slid in there before next weekend. And then Human Remains cover A, or what we've noticed a lot happening over previews is a lot of these books going back on FOC a lot later. So, uh, yeah, nothing to see here, but that Nightmare Fuel. So, uh, Shadow Service number 12, cover A. And then West of Sundown, number two, cover A. Just going to wrap it up for that week, but wait, there's more. So, also appearing on Lunar Distribution for 4-3-2022, as well as Diamond Distribution for 4-4-2022, final order cutoff, is this uh, book that I showed you only the A cover and the B cover last week. They decided to add you a whole bunch of incentives. So here's your B cover. Here is your five copy incentive. And then here's your 10. This is your 25 copy incentive. You get a 50 copy incentive right here. And then this is your 75 copy incentive, but then they decided to give you a foil version of that one. Every book is a key, silly. <laughs> uh, we don't know, Ruben. Uh, until the books are actually out, I would take any information you are given as propaganda to sell you the book. And if you don't approach it that way, you're going to spend a lot of money on FOMO. But boom, dropping you the all new Firefly number three with a cover A. Cover B by Young. Oh, wow. Wait, that should have deceased. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Ravagers ran him through the wash. Cover C is your incentive version of the A cover. And then this is your 25 copy incentive by Danny. And then this is your 50 copy incentive by Carpenter. It just happens to make some really good looking variants of the OG characters. Your unlockable 25 copy incentive, though. Killer Affairs of the State, number three of six with a cover A. And then they're hitting you with a 10 copy incentive. And then this is your 25 copy incentive. Okay, so Ruben. I wouldn't say this next one uh, has some key variants, but I will say that these book, this book is proven already to have a specific ratio variant that makes it worthwhile to order the other ones. So let's just take a look at what I'm talking about. So cover A for Power Rangers Universe is of course your cover A by Dan Mora. They virginized that one without the trade dress for your 10 copy incentive, which is very easy on the odds. This one doesn't make it any worse. This is your 25 copy incentive. And uh, according to my friends who explore Power Rangers lore, this is a pretty, pretty cool cover. Like, 
for the, the, the ranger that they're depicting here. And then there's this. So Ruben, if I were you, I would be looking at what it would take to order this Power Rangers 50 copy incentive. And if you don't believe me, um, you can check back at every single previous FOC that I've done with the Power Rangers universe issue on it all the way back to the first one where I pointed out this negative space variant because this is what you're looking at here I uh, was going to do really well and even though it wasn't the top ratio the top ratio is what helped them move those 250 copy incentives so being very easy on the eyes is this pretty wicked looking Power Rangers 100 copy incentive plus the 250s that you would get plus the 25 copy incentives you would get four of so if you do order from you know somebody who hooks you up and makes you buy all the variants and stuff along the way to get you know and then you get 100 copies of the book who knows uh but here is your power rangers universe number five foc reveal variant and then the virginized unlockable foc variant of that so we got one more issue and then of course it's going to be shit what ranger have they not done yet that's the question because they're going to do six of them so, standard laws of deduction. I forget which ranger hasn't been done yet. I'm sorry, these shows tend to blend all together and I can only keep track of my collection so much as well. But, go and, uh, go and check what those do. Is it the Green Ranger the one that's left, Omar? Thank you. I had a feeling that's what it was, but I didn't want to talk out my ass. Dark Horse only dropping one book this week for FOC, and that's uh, the British Paranormal Society Time Out of Mind number one of four. Okay, the uh, most variants of any publisher on this show or the Wednesday Night Comic Book Presser is, of course, Dynamite Entertainment. And even Amazing Spider-Man's uh, relaunch, probably not even going to come close. Barbarella, there's your cover B, cover C, cover D by Selena, and then the cover E cosplay. 10 copy incentive, 15 copy, 20 copy, 25 copy, Chew Limited Virgin, Cohen Limited Virgin, Muzabakov Original, FOC Chew Ultraviolet, 7 copy FOC incentive cosplay Virgin, 7 copy FOC incentive Selena Virgin. 10 copy FOC Incentive Chew Ultraviolet Virgin. 11 copy Chrome FOC Incentive Virgin. Muzabakov 11 copy FOC Incentive Virgin. And then we have Draculina number three, cover A. This is your Rose Besh cover B. Cover C by Glee and Mark. Cover D. I'm going to mess that one up. Cover E is your cosplay. Um, Shadow? What's going on there? Maybe they're holding back that image? You never know. You never know. 10 copy incentive, uh, black and white. 20 copy, March black and white. See, I don't know what's going on here. They had the same uh, thing shown there, and then 25 copy Besh wasn't shown. So they were doing all sorts of uh, wrongness, I think. Or I got the wrong photo. Draculina number three, cover I, Turner Virgin, Rose Besh Limited Virgin, the Liefeld Homage to New Mutants 87 by Marat Michaels, the FOC Gundas Original, that one's pretty cool though, with the card, Lux Comics and Cards, good to see you, thanks for joining. Draculina number three, FOC Maria. And then the Ractolin. This one's pretty cool. Wearing the Draculina hat. And then here is your Mario FOC 7 copy Virgin. And then the 7 copy FOC Incentive Turner Black and White. And then the FOC Gundas is Black and White. The 11 copy FOC Incentive Liefeld Homage. And then the Ractolin 11 copy FOC Incentive Virgin. 15 copy FOC Incentive Gundas Virgin, and then the 15 copy in FOC Incentive by Golden Mark. Red Sonia number 8, cover A by Mirka Andolfo. 
Cover B by Lee Re Lee. And man, why can't why couldn't it just be Red Sony on this cover? Yeah, I like it a lot more. I know she's part of the story, I get it. Uh, cover C by Lindsner. Cover D by Sozo Micah. Once again, fire. Cover E cosplay. Cover F 15 copy incentive and Delpho black and white. Cover G, 20 copy incentive, Sozo Micah Virgin. The Endolfo Limited Virgin. And then the Leary Lee Limited Virgin. And then the Linsner Limited Virgin. Uh, I mean, all, all right, so Awesome Sauce asking, asking the non-FOC related question in the chat here. So uh, why don't you guys take care of him until I get to the end of Dynamite, and then I'll answer that one. Uh, Red Sonia 2021, number eight. Liefeld Homage, the Castro original is a secret variant until they drop the art, and then the N is the seven copy FOC incentive cosplay virgin, and then the seven copy FOC Liefeld Homage, Sozo Mica seven copy FOC incentive black and white, ten copy FOC black and white Sozo Mica virgin, eleven copy FOC incentive Castro virgin, also a secret variant. And then, uh, oops, yeah. Oh, so that one got put out of place. Liefeld, just kidding. Vampirilla Dracula, Unholy, number five, cover A by Perillo. Cover B by Rose Besh. Cover C by Shannon Mayer. Cover D by Adam Hughes. That's probably gonna be a big one to order for a lot of people too, is the Hughes covers. So check out the ratios here. Make note of that when you're hitting up your shops for ordering. Vampirilla Dracula Unholy number five, cover E. And then here's your cover F, which is your 10 copy Perilla Tint. Your 15 copy Cosplay. 20 copy Besh Black and White. And then you have the 25 copy Mare Black and White. Cover J is your Perillo Limited Virgin. Cover K is your Hughes Limited Virgin. Cover L is your Mare Limited Virgin. Cover M is your FOC Liefeld Homage by Marat Michaels. Cover N is your seven copy FOC Incentive Cosplay. And then cover O is your 11 copy FOC Incentive Liefeld Virgin. Vampirilla Dracula Unholy number five cover P is your 11 copy FOC Incentive Momoko. And then the 15 copy FOC Incentive Momoko is your cover Q. Cover R, 15 copy FOC Incentive Besh Virgin. Wrapping it up for Dynamite Entertainment. So let me kick it back to Blind Adam's question here. Um, so yeah, if you can get only one book autographed by Frank Miller, what would it be and why? Nate 138th already answered the question the way I think I would have because I'm trying to think of what other Frank Miller uh, books I do like of his. All right, now obviously Dark Knight, um, Dark Knight Returns number one, obviously is just you know one of his best. That that four issue mini is probably one of the best Batman stories ever. Just saying. Um, no matter what universe, you know, it, it could take place in any universe where Bruce Wayne becomes an old man and it, it could be very, very prevalent to, you know, bureaucrats again taking over and screwing up cities to that, the fact that mutant crime lords have to take over like that. And that whole Dark Knight universe is just crazy. Uh, no, Lux Comics, um... I mean, uh, you just got to follow all the spec sites. I mean, uh, I know that there's some uh, people who do cover lists of uh, <clears throat> certain artists. So, I mean, that's basically all you can really do is just discography people out. And then you got to, um, hey there, Comics Talk Weekly. Uh, don't forget to uh, tune into these guys in about an hour and six minutes because I know that uh, Phil will be promptly starting on time. Uh, but here, here's another one for you, Blind Adam. Daredevil, the Man Without Fear miniseries. That's a really good Frank Miller one that I like. And, of course, the Frank Miller Daredevil stuff. Um, what else is he really known for besides those books? 
or where he's been favorited to have been writing those things. Because that would be the next place you should go, honestly. All right, moving on. We're in IDW Entertainment. Here we go with the G.I. Joe Real American Hero Saturday Morning Adventures number three. Uh-oh, the genie's out of the bag, everybody. But the uh, cover B did not have the cover art shown. And uh, according to Mel, this should have been Cold Slither. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number two. Cover A. Here's your cover B. And they get down in the synopsis in this one, so they tell us Godzilla versus Megazord. But that's why Dragon Zord over here not not in the fight, right? And I don't know why the, the image came out like this, but that's how it did. But Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, ten copy incentive with the Dragon Zord. Transformers Beast Wars number fifteen, which you cover A. Beast Wars cover B. And then this is your ten copy incentive. Transformers Wars End, number three of the four-issue miniseries. This is your cover B. And I don't know if that's Sunstorm or not. If that is Sunstorm, that's pretty cool. Um, and then this is your cover C, 10 copy La Fuente Incentive. The Usagi Yojimbo Lone Goat and Kid, number four of the six-issue series. Blood Stained Teeth, number one, cover A, by Christian Ward. Cover B by Reynolds. Cover C by Shalvi. And then there's your blank. Not one used for the contest. Ghost Cage, number two of three. Gunslinger Spawn, number seven. Oh, the cover C. Oh, what, what the heck? Okay, so your cover B for Gunslinger Spawn is indeed the sketch. Make sure that you tell your stores that you want it and that they ask why you say it's Drunk in Chat Sons doing a, an art contest. And Mel, Mel gave me permission to tell you guys about these books on FOC to make sure you pick these up so you don't only have to do like the Spawn number ones and all the other really hard, you know, the ones that are going to be kind of hard to find if you don't FOC them. My apologies for skipping that slide. Helicop number six, cover A. Cover B. Cover C, which, right, looks like a real cover. And then uh, here's your cover D. Bloodstained Teeth, number one, with a 25 copy incentive that I should have showed you back there. There's your 50 copy incentive. That I knew there were some incentives. Here's your cover G, 100 copy incentive. And I don't know how those got out of place. Monstrous. New Burn, number six. Rogue Sun, number three, cover A. Rogue Sun, number three, cover B. Oh, it's a 25 copy incentive as well. Saga, number 58, of course. I know a lot of you guys are really happy to have that one back. Scumbag, number 13, with the cover A. Cover B. And then Step by Bloody Step, number three of four, cover A. And your cover B. Uh, I don't know what kind of Doctor Strange wannabe he is, but Zombies vs. Robots Classic number two. Cover B. And then your 25 copy incentive. Finishing up for the image section. FOC removals from DC. Some of them were relisted, some of them were not. But Batman 89 number six, the Tedesco variant. And Flash, the fastest man alive, number one of three, was also removed, as well as Task Force Z, number seven. So since DC decided to remove those, I'll show you the final list. This is due tomorrow. Action Comics 1042, cover A. Cover B by Tedesco. Aquaman Green Arrow, deep target number seven. There's your cover B by Raza. So Mel, shout out to Mighty Mel V. Better get your Raza uh, cover here. 
Aquaman number three with a cover A by Travis Moore. Cover B by Miko Suan. Cover C. Dark Knights of Steel number six of 12, cover A. Cover B by Joshua Middleton. And then here is your cover C. Deathstroke Incorporated number eight with a cover A by John Boy Myers. Here is the cover B. Cover C is your 25 copy incentive. Detective 1059 cover A. And then cover B by Lee Bermeo. And uh, I don't know when Riddler became a pimp. But uh, he's apparently got uh, Batman locked in the Houdini thing. And uh, has to go hit the streets. And see a girl about some money. But that's none of our business. Detective cover C. And I believe that's Gotham Girl. Haven't seen her in a while, right? Uh, but uh, De Detective, it might be it might be Gotham Girl. I think that's her logo, isn't it? But there's your 25 copy incentive. Harley Quinn number 14, cover A. Cover B by Derek Chu. Cover C is your 25 copy Bengal cardstock variant cover. Joker number 14, cover A by Glean March. I'm sorry, Glean Mark. Uh, cover B, the Alan Qua variant, the Ortega, and the James Stokoe variant. Cover A for Robin number 13. Shadow War tie-ins everywhere. There's your Crystal Kung cardstock variant cover and your 25 copy Roger Cruz connecting cardstock variant. Swamp Thing number 12 of 16 with the cover A. Then your cover B, which is your Liam Sharp cardstock variant. Teen Titans Academy number 14. Cover A. And then this is your cover B. Trial of the Amazons number two. The Rose Besh cover B cardstock variant cover. Wrapping up for this week's FOC, a.k.a. tomorrow. But let's take a look into the future even further with the final orders due on 410. Batman 123 cover A. The Del Otto cardstock cover B. Your 25 copy incentive cover C. 50 copy incentive jock foil cover D. Batman Beyond Neo Year number two of six with the cover A and the cover B by Christian Ward. Batman Killing Time number three of six cover A by David Marquez, but they didn't show the cover B. However, your Greg Smallwood cover C 25 copy incentive was shown. Batman the Night Compendium Edition, which contains Batman the Knights numbers one through three. Batman Urban Legends number 15 with a cover A. And then this is the cover B. Cover C by Riley Rosmo. Danger Street number 1 of 12, cover A by Jorge Fornes. And then we got a cover B by Steve Rude. Cover C, which is your 25 copy incentive Lee Weeks cardstock variant cover. And the most wickedest Dr. Fate cover to date by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Ben Oliver. This is going to be a cardstock variant cover of a 50 copy incentives. Um, wow. Earth Prime number three of six with the Legends of Tomorrow cover A. Flashpoint Beyond number one of six has been put back on FOC. However, guess what? They still didn't show all the other covers and they still called this one in 50 a Todd Nauk cardstock variant. That does not look like Todd Nauk's work at all. Like if that's Todd Nauk's work, I want to know who was inking it and coloring it. Hardware, 
back on FOC, but only showing the cover A with a cover A by Mateus Manhanini. Monkey Prince number four with a cover A by Bernard Chang. The cover B. And then the Asian American Pacific Islander cardstock variant cover upcoming for that theme month theme. Monkey Prince number four of 12 cover D incentive. 25 copy Michael Cho cardstock variant cover. Nubia Coronation Special One Shot Cover A by David Mack. This is your cover B, Joshua Sway. Swabby Sway. Cardstock. The team variant. So you have to order 250 copies of this book in order to order it. 25 copy Crystal Kung cardstock variant. One Star Squadron, number six of six. Suicide Squad, number 15, cover A. Suicide Squad, number 15, cover B by Dexter Soy. Task Force Z, again, was removed from the 4-3 FOC. Has now been pushed back to 4-10. So here's the Batman Perillo variant, or the Bat uh, Skull Perillo variant. And then your 25 copy incentive variant cover. World of Krypton number six of six with a cover B, no cover A shown. Finishing up for the FOC for next week again for 410 for that DC Lunar distribution. And as we approach the final publisher of the evening, if you haven't smashed that like button, do so already. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so already. Um, let's get this one cranking because I got to go. Alien number 12, cover B by Derek Chu, crushing it. Dude, I mean, look at the, like the oily shininess of the skull, like with the reflective, you, you guys ever seen like certain house flies and stuff like that, that would have like that really reflective color? Perfect, right? This is the 25 copy incentive by FAM. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm... This is what's killing me here, okay? So Mary Jane just asked Peter to move in and he was like, you know I got an orthopedic bed at my house, at my own place? Like, dude, she just asked you to move in, you're gonna go home for your orthopedic bed? What are you thinking? And apparently it causes them to break up in this issue. And then, swinging in for the rebound is of course Felicia. Amazing Spider-Man number two with the uh, Felicia and the spider suit variant. So, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man number two with the Inyuk Lee variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man number two with the Derek Chu variant. Avengers Forever number four, second printing, Common Coley variant. Ben Riley Spider-Man number five of five. The Jurgens variant. So did you guys read the last issue? Spider side. Yes, spider side. Is he like, I can't tell if he's eating him. Is he eating the costume? Like the artist, Jer Dan Jergens, you should have thought this one out. I don't think he did. Captain Marvel number 38. The Basil Dua variant. I hope I didn't just butcher your name. Here we go, the scroll variants again. And then the Phil Noto Fortnite variant. Second printing of Carnage number one. Electra Black, White, and Blood number four. The Momoko variant cover. Did she do both a cover and that cover? Or is that somebody else? No, I think they're both Momoko. Fantastic Four number 43. The Silver Concept Art, the U Spider-Man variant cover, and then the Super Log variant. That's fantastic. And I don't just mean that as a pun. That really is a fantastic variant by Super Log. Chrysanthemum, Star Wars Tales number one. Oh, look, there's a photo variant. Now, this showed in the regular preview section, but we cannot tell if this is incentive or not. 
If this is open order, this is probably going to be a favorite. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 38. The Skrull variant by Souza. And then Bartell variant with the spoilerific reveal of uh, Billy Morales. And then uh, check it out, everybody. Design variant. The 25 copy incentive to Via variant. And then the scan for Shadow 50 copy incentive. So, uh... I don't really know there's a ton of heat on that stuff. Even, it hasn't even been released yet. So, you you, you know, there was uh, somebody, again, asking in the live chat earlier uh, if there was any keys. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Savage Avengers number one of the new volume. Pretty impressive lineup, if you ask me. But I heard Deathlock is actually going to be the one chasing Conan to kill him. Because he's a temporal criminal, been expunged from Hyperborea. Here's your John Romita Jr. variant. Here is your Albuquerque variant. This is your Common Coley teaser variant. Todd Nock doing a headshot variant for that one. 25 copy incentive. And then this is going to be your 50 copy. Order recording. Shang-Chi number 12. Hey, thanks for stopping by, uh, Blind Adam. I really appreciate you, buddy. Have a good week, and I will hopefully uh, be able to catch you on the panel next Friday. If not, I'll try to attend your live chat, but, you know, Wednesdays are pretty tight days for me. And that's when everybody wants me to be on their, their podcast. And while I appreciate all the love that you guys have sent me and, and invites and stuff like that, I, I feel really bad about not being able to do Wednesdays. I just have too much going on. Shang-Chi number 12, the Ron Lim scroll variant, the Asian American Pacific Islander heritage variant, and there was no incentives actually. So Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Alpha number one, the Brown variant, Ryan Brown killing it there, the Lashley 2099 frame variant, but wait. The Ron Lim connecting variant. And then they showed this one, which was, it looks like a Ryan Stegman variant cover. And then the Lashley 2099 frame variant showing another 2099 character. Spidey and Friends giveaway sampler. And they said this one has a suggested retail price of 25 cents, featuring all new stories from my first comic reader, an easy to read comic book. Perfect for young Spidey fans, ages five to seven. Oh, we all might know somebody who's got a kid in that age range, so just make sure your story is accordingly. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course. And uh, in other news, uh, I, I can't wait until the press here to t tell you guys about this, but Obi-Wan was pushed from Wednesdays to Fridays. So no more will they be dropping uh, Wednesday night like previously. They were going to be dropping on Fridays, and they were going to give you, you two episodes as an opener. Here's your cover B by Geist. Momoko Japanese creator variant. And then the 10 copy incentive movie variant. This one's going to be huge for signatures because uh, I have a feeling that uh, Ewan McGregor is going to be doing some signings. And then here's your 25 copy uh, incentive. Venom Lethal Protector going back for a second printing. Artist to be decided. Wolverine Patch went back for a second print. And there's your Shaw variant cover. The Excellent, number four. The variant cover by Wernick. X-Force, number 28. X-Force, number 28, with the Momoko Stormbreakers variant. X-Force, number 28, Scan variant. X-Men, number 11, with old Pepe LaRoz costume designs from last year's 
Hellfire Gala. But hey, I'm not complaining. Um, I think the all-new Wolverine uh, skirt outfit that they designed for her was probably one of the cooler ones. Uh, Jean Grey's outfit also was was not too shabby. Um, Storm had been rocking hers for a while too, right? This, however, the Stormbreakers variant cover, I don't know if this is going to be a sideways cover. It might very well be. Um, or if it's going to be a wraparound. But it says, visit the majestic Madripoor, a place for er the very rich and the very poor. And then the uh, Garen Skull variant, followed by the Wernick trading card variant. And that is your secret variant episode. I do want to thank everybody in the live chat. You guys are, again, one of the reasons that I do this. You make it so rewarding uh, just by being, you know, cool peeps in my live chat. And, I, and Dave hasn't had to ban anybody yet, um, as far as I know. Maybe a, maybe a couple of bots here or there. But uh, shout out to you guys for keeping it cool and, and always being great. And uh, always recognizing that uh, I'm just here to drop some good information and good content for you. Please stand by, of course, because the next episode is going to be why you want to be subscribed. The next episode of the Wednesday Night Comic Book Presser. Join me for that this coming Wednesday, of course. And that's our show, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment if you're watching on the Rewind. And, of course, if you have the uh, the ability to do so um, after we're done here. That's also pretty awesome. Uh, I do appreciate you guys doing that, too. And, of course, liking and sharing the video is always, always appreciated. Again, and I'll see you next week. Not yet, huh, Dave? One day. One day somebody will get out of line. You'll get to throw that band hammer like Thor. And also, don't forget to check out Dave and all those guys tonight on the designated decoys. Um, if you guys are going to be multitasking with your whatnot phone in your hand, I know M M Mighty Mel V with Saturday Night Liz Hive. I mean, do you guys like cool rare variants? I do. But you already know that. Thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you tuning in, and I will see you next time. <laughs>